Welcome back. Let's fast forward a few months. The BDO Lakeside World Darts Championship will be live here on ESPN. Looking ahead to tomorrow, international football will feature the England under-21 team in their match against Israel, 6.30 start. On Saturday, the Barclays Premier League match between Bolton and champions Manchester United, 4.45 start. Uh, and later on at some stage of tonight, top 14 rugby union from France, Lyon versus Toulouse. Time to return to the stage here at the Hull Arena for the presentation of the trophy to the winner in this year's Women's Masters Darts Tournament. To receive a check for £2,000, this year's runner-up, a five times former world master, England's Trina Gulliver! Ladies and gentlemen, to receive a check for £5,000, the wonderful Winmore World Masters Trophy, the 2011 Ladies Champion, the pride of Bolton, ladies and gentlemen, Lisa Ashton. Congratulations to Lisa Ashton. David Croft has left his commentary box for the moment Champions! alongside Tony O'Shea as we wait for the final of the men's masters. Great performance, David. From Lisa Ashton, superb performance. Trina Gulliver tried to throw part of the kitchen sink back at her towards the closing stages, but Lisa was too far ahead by then. And I said to Tony Green in, in the commentary, the ladies' field is so competitive at the moment that there are a lot here who could have become the world master. I'm really chuffed that Lisa is the one because we'll see more of her in the future. We'll see her at Lakeside as well. And that's going to be a stellar competition. That really is. Congratulations to Lisa and Trina Gulliver, of course, who has set the standards in women's darts for so many years. is inspiring others to come and challenge her, and that is what has happened. OK, over 250 players representing over 70 countries took part uh, in the men's Masters. It's down to two. It's Scott Waits against Dean Winstanley. And I think everyone is really looking forward to this. Tony O'Shea, you know both of these players really well. What are your thoughts ahead of this match? Uh, obviously, uh, there's a big rivalry there, as we said before. They're both great players. Obviously, Scott's been around a long time now. Experience, he's won a major, a big major, the Grand Slam. Mm. Dean's still just getting there for me. But I did speak to Dean a few minutes ago, and uh, he was a bit upset with his performance. But I think he, uh, he agreed with what we were saying. He probably slowed it down too much. You'll see a different performance. I think he'll play a different game this game. He's very hard on himself, incredibly depressed after his performance yesterday. He, he takes everything to heart because he wants to deliver for himself, but also for the people watching as well. He is a, he's a true professional. Well, he is, and I think he realises how lucky he is that he's got the sponsor and now the backing to play the circuit full-time. He doesn't want to go back to the days where he just played the odd tournament. He wants to focus, he wants to prepare properly, and he does criticise each and every performance. And I think that's what's making him now the number one in the BDO system, because he's actually actually learning from a lot of the mistakes but you know I'm with Tony Scott's got a major Grand Slam win under his belt now and Tony will tell you I don't want to upset him again it's, <laughs> it's a different thing being in the final as a runner-up to, to being in the final as a winner as well it's a massive hurdle Dean's got to overcome to, to lift that trophy well, I want to ask you about sort of dealing with the occasion yeah, let's remember, Dean Winstanley went to the final of the Lakeside. He's now gone to the final as far as the Masters is concerned. So in a calendar year, that's a great effort. Can he go one step more and upset the odds here and, and, and take the trophy? Big trophy. Well, basically, again, we were joking, he's still really an apprentice, to be honest. 12 months and, he, and this is his second big final. 
Uh, I'm sure it's going to be the, the, if he wins today, it'll be the first of many, but he'll still learn from the experiences he's getting now anyway, but uh, I'm sure he's going to play a great final. OK, let's just get uh, another opinion on this final. Uh, Nat Coombs is with Daryl Fitton. Daryl, if there's one man in the building that knows what's going through these fellas' heads, it's you, finalist in 2007. But your preparation for the final was a little bit different, wasn't it? They've had 30, 40 minutes plus to think about it. You were pretty much right in the action straight away. Yeah, I was thrown on within eight minutes of an interview, uh, just enough time for the toilet, three darts to the board and a quick drink of water, I think it was at the time. Um, but you know these these two lads have had a Dean's had about 30 minute break and Scott's had an hour so I don't know which one I prefer I think I'd prefer to be Dean really because he's just come off um, he's still fresh Scott's had to, time to relax and I think sometimes you can your body can do too much relaxing when it, a long long wait like this so 2009 you had a great match uh, against Scott has he developed as a player since that 5-4 win for you? Well, I think uh, you know, that was a great game. I remember that you know, brilliant game. But um, since then, he's obviously gone and won the Grand Slam. He's uh, England regular now with the World Cup team, and that gives you lots of experience as well. I, and I guess I guess Dean wants to cement his world ranking by landing a big major, doesn't he? Yeah, he's, he's come on leaps and bounds the last two years from being nowhere up into the rankings. I think he's number two. He's been number one. And now I think obviously these ranking points are fantastic for him now, so... Fantastic stuff. Pretty much even Stephen in terms of support on the floor. This one is going to be very hard to call. Back to you fellas. Nat, thank you very much indeed. Okay, you guys that work in commentary boxes live and die on statistics like, like these. What are you going to make of this, David Croft? Uh, Dean Wynn Stanley has got to improve not just his scoring, but his finishing. It's that checkout success that will determine whether he can go one better here, Tony, isn't it? Well, they speak for themselves. I mean, there's a massive difference in the average. The checkout's almost twice as many. Obviously, the, around the tons it's fair, but that, that's the main thing. But if he speeds his game up a touch, I think them doubles will come, them two and three dark combinations, then finishes seem to come when you are throwing in a good rhythm. You're both going to go for Scott Waits though, aren't you? Sort of if you had to put money on this. But the one thing in Dean Wynn Stanley's favour, mm -hmm. he's not playing Martin Adams in a final. This time he's got a chance. <laughs> the man that keeps beating him's already out. So can he beat the man that beat the man that always beats him? And you just never, never know, do you? You just never, never know when it gets to this stage. All of a sudden, someone can find the form of their lives. Well, the form of his life's been the last 18 months. Yeah. He's played well, he's beaten everybody on the tour. Today's the day he's got a chance to win a major, and like you say, he's not playing Martin Adams, so he's got a chance, of course he has. <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you very much. Uh, the final is about to get underway. Uh, the players are waiting to make their entrance. Back to Martin Fitzmaurice.
and ready to commentate on the Masters final. In the commentary box, it's David Croft and Tony Green. Yeah, it's going to be a pretty uh, different final, this, because they've got uh, and Stanley is just hoping to just to prove what he can do. Not that he wants to win, but he wants to prove. And of course, Scotty, well, we'll see how he's approached this one. Straight through, big scores, finishing power. He's got the lot. And at the moment, the favourite has to be, in my opinion, Scotty Waits. Well, one thing's for certain, Tony. Both of them are seeing straight, but they're not seeing a straight board. And so Scott Waits is giving the BDO officials just a little bit of a helping hand. Not quite sure why this couldn't have been sorted out before. The board, of course, changed for this Masters final. And it's all smiles and laughs and jokes, which actually might help both of these players settle in to what, of course, is their first World Masters final. And as long as both players are happy, then we can get some practice starts and we can get on with the action. And Vic Sexton is the one that's just changed the board to the right angle. Nick Rawls, our referee. Just waiting now for the first start for this final. Got some great excitement throughout. We have. I said it was Scott Waite's first World Masters final. I'm going mad at this late hour, of course. Former runner-up to Martin Adams trying to go one better this year the man they call Scotty to Hottie thank you ladies and gentlemen first set first leg it's Scott to throw first game on we have had 27 different names on the world masters trophy whatever happens in the next best of 13 set match a 28th different name will be etched onto this famous piece of silverware a new name for a new arena for the world masters okay david who do you think dean win stanley but i always go for the underdog well if you go on uh, as you say for experience you've got to go with scotty 43 he's won a grand slam Runner-up in the Masters, but is the pressure all on Scott Waits? So far, if it is, it's not showing. 84 left after nine darts. This is the first leg. 49. Scott, you require 84. 11 dart finish, treble 20. Yeah, well he sets up tops and he's uh, a mile clear of his opponent. 327 before the throw. 57. Scott, you require 40. Tops on then. Double 10. Still bags in time, but he's left double seven and he's thinking to himself, why on earth have I done that? God. Yeah, man. That was some distance away. 58. Scott, you require 14. Options. Will he go straight for it? We'll see. Yes, he has. Get in there. Scott Waits. First blood. Comfortable start. For Scott Second Waits lady, with the throw. First. Game on. And has Dean Wood Stanley been listening to the wise words of Tony O'Shea, I wonder? Will he just speed up his delivery, Whoa. speed up his throw? little bit more pace to him I think Seventy. Yeah, good to the shot and great entertainment here hasn't it this weekend well it has and none more so than the Scott Waits Martin Adams semi-final and, and you wonder is it easier for Dean Wynn Stanley to go into this match Tony off the back of a not the greatest performance in his semi than it is for Scott Waits to try and replicate his semi-final on that great 100-plus average. Yeah, well, it's like everything else. It's all on the day. Every every game's different. Every 85. Game. 85. Your mind does strange things. 
that's what uh, 60. various matters going through your head. It does. You, you carry good, bad memories, good, bad inspiration. 65. That's what these two can carry through to the final that will shape their destiny in the next hour or so. 140. Good time to get a 140 there. 170. Let's let this one go in. Come on. Get another. Scott has already done the 170 out shot. 134. That's good Scott thinking from Dean. 86. Tunnel 18. Bull. 61. Dean, you require 36. When Stanley wants double nine to hold his throw, but nope, he's let it go, hasn't 28. he? Twenty-eight. He Scott had the chance Brian, there. 25. Double trouble. Now double eight for Waits. Wraps Game up the first shot. set. Scott the first Waits. Set. Scott Waits could easily have been a different story. Second set, first leg. It's deemed to throw first. Game on. Best of three legs per set. It doesn't take much to change the course. Of a Wimbledon World Masters dance match. Yeah, but Dean has to get into this straight away. Otherwise, Scotty could really run away with the match. One hundred. He's just got to think. Got the throw in this set. Concentrate on holding your throw. Put the pressure on your opponent that way. Isn't that what Eric Bristow always used to do? Always. If he wasn't. With and when in it, kick you. It's verbally. Especially in the leg. <laughs> 100. Let me switch here, because I think that dance a bit loose in there. Double 20, no he didn't. Dean's brother. Watching on. Through the years, Eric has won five of these titles. 60. And five. Of the World Championships. You win more as it was then, and still is. 140. First 140 for Dean and Stanley. Yeah, you can't argue with Eric's record, and both of these two would love to have a record Dean very similar 81. 15 or so years' time. You have to throw better darts than that, though. 78 left now. Oh dear me. Bag of nails, isn't it? 23. Scott, you require 142. Still not on the finish, when Stanley. We? 85. Dean, you require 58. 18. Double top. Game shot, yeah, right and the first leg, Team wins Stanley. Second leg, it's Scott throwing first. I did mean a one bout finish in that, so he's not on the finish. 59. Right, now, Scott Way is quite clearly not firing straight out of the blocks here. 95. He's back in. <laughs> One hundred and four. Maybe you can start to wind up the pace a little bit from here on in. Wind up the scoring a touch. One hundred. Stanley will be mightily glad. It's not Martin Adams he's facing. Three times he's lost to Adams 16. in the final of a ranking tournament in two thousand and eleven. 135. No, he took his defeat very well, did uh, Martin. Well, as you get older, you learn to lose gracefully, don't 140. you? 140. Yeah, very graceful. Yeah. 43. Scott, you require 102. 
So, 10 or a 6. It's double 16 that awaits. That's Game better. Shot and the second leg. Scott Waits. First time plus check out for Scott Waits of this match. Throwing first. Yes, his wife thoroughly enjoyed herself. 140. Uh, in the last few days. Hands up there now. 140. Well, that could be a slip, you know. Waits like a express train pulling out of the station, started gathering speed now, gathering momentum. Back to back 140s as Lorraine Farland watches on, Dean Win Stanley's partner. 100. I wonder if uh, two Yorkshiremen has ever been in the final before. Just can't recall. 76. I knew you'd ask me that question. <laughs> 177. Scott, you require 145. Not finished now. 65 left. 105. Oh. Dean, you require 24. Double 12 left. That's the first one. Double six. Oh. Eighteen. Oh, that's a difficult one. Scott, you require forty. Double top. Double ten. Twenty. Oh, yeah. Well, once again, going for double Do ten. He's hit that six. single six. Win Stanley wants one double one to check out on six. No. no score. Now, that Scott could have been the first set for Dean Wynn Stanley. I rather think it's the first set for Scott, a uh, second set for Scott Waits. Game and it shot. is. And the second set, Scott Waits. Such small things change dramatically the course of darts matches, and Wynn Stanley really should be one apiece, Tony. Yeah, well, it's very hot up there, as you see. They've, I think they've got two bottles of water. Third set, first leg. There. It's Scott to throw first. Game on. As it is, two sets goes to wait. 57. So now we've got the second set out of the way, I can answer your question, Tony Green. Go for it. Well, given that only two Yorkshiremen have ever won the World Masters, yeah. Dennis Priestley and, and of course John Boyd Norton, yeah. given that both Mike Gregory and Mervyn King, their respective opponents that day, would never class themselves as Yorkshiremen, I think the answer is no. 95. Thank you. Have there ever been two Yorkshiremen contesting the World Masters final? Not before today. One hundred. Yeah, there's Ross Montgomery. Oh, he wishes he was on that stage. He had every chance. One hundred and forty. Took Dean Win Stanley all the way, didn't he? To Sudden death, as did Tony West in the quarterfinals, of course. 134. Both men have had Dean sudden Dean death matches. Gary Robson taking Scott Waits all the way. Both have had match darts against them before they got to this stage. It all matters. What a jot at this Scott moment. 95, trouble 19. Not now, and Stanley's back at the office. Double six. Dean, you require 12. It's in the doubles. Got them Game that time. Game shot, and the first leg. Dean wins That's the leg. That's what he his brother there. Give him a... Second leg, it's pass. Dean to throw first. Game on. As we hinted though, Tony, it's... The double percentages that will go a long way to deciding the destiny of this trophy. And so far, Dean Win Stanley has not fixed his double trouble in the 18% success rate so far. Because once you've got a couple under your belt, 120. relaxing to the game, 
I mean, look, there's 140 to kick off with, and there's another one. Another treble. 100. On two, three. From Scott Waits, his first throw. 57. And clear 80 point advantage before this visit. 81. Quite sure how that last time ended up in a single one there. They set this up for a, a good leg for himself. 140. Back comes Scott though. Do at least he's finding his range on that treble 20. Whatever he does, he doesn't want to bust there. 140. I've seen it happen. Yeah. They have. Going for the big 20 and hitting the treble. So we mentioned double trouble for Win Stanley, but it's his favourite double now. Will that make the difference? 40. Yes. Game shot and the third set. Team Win Stanley. And hits Scott Waits straight back again. There's Dean Win Stanley. Fourth set, first leg. It's Dean to throw first. Game on. He's not going to go down without the fight here. Ninety-seven. Felt have been good. One hundred and forty. The players. Now the players need to help themselves. One hundred. Back in the red. 140. And maybe the Wind Stanley Express is now starting to pull away from the station. 137. So I can take his 164. Daughter away. Oh, nice holiday, he said. 122. Yes. Scott, you're at the All around. Scott looking for the two treble 19s and the bullseye, but finding neither. 53. Dean, you require 42. The two for double top for Win Stanley for another leg. There Game he goes. Shot and the first leg. Dean Win Stanley. Stanley Second the leg. Is Scott throwing first. He's really found in the target. 170. So Scott, this is now starting to sparkle into life a little bit, this final. Two players producing the darts that we know they're capable of. 99. At the end of this set, we'll have a little break. Tony, still fancy Scott Waits for this one? Um, changing a little. 140. I'll go with it. Whatever happens though between now and the winning double. 140. Great working with you again, Tom. Really good to see you Enjoy back it, in the box. Enjoyed it. 100. Going to go to the deciding leg of this set. Waits wants 88. Number 14 for it. 60. Still no out shot for Winston. 134. Oh, yes. Scott, you require 28. Needs to get inside there. Made it difficult. Oh, he's done it. He's done it. Scott Waits. Well, if you've got three darts, you might as well use them. Long as you use them wisely. Shaking his hand, puffing and panting. And he's still, I think, Scott Waits not 16. quite totally happy when it comes down to a double. And interestingly, both players now with a checkout percentage of 31%. 
Scott hitting one more double than Dean so far. 137. Good for the shots. Oh, here's an opening now. Ninety-six. Let's hear four at the end. That's why it goes for the trouble nineteen. <laughs> One hundred and forty. When Stanley did need that, but the leg that he started, remember. Scott Waits is now inching ahead. One hundred. Oh, and how crucial could that 100 be? It's not a finish, I know, but it's forcing Win Stanley to up the ante again. Brilliantly done, though. Super reply. Okay, set point. Not finish. But Win Stanley can. 103. 140. Dean, you require 103. It's still on three for double top. Be a good check out this. Oh, his favourite level. Double lets him down. Scott, you require 28. Square match. Oh, three one up. Still on double seven. Yes, he's done it. And the first oh, assist. Scott Wayne. There's nothing between either of these two players. It could well have been to all, Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. But Scott Wayne's not happy about it. As we go to the break, he's got that two-set cushion back again.